Hello everybody, it's your friend Moonhorse here, ready to read more stories for you. This is from Reddit user The Ballistic Buddha. <laughs> I like your name. Two pigs and a stick. That's what it's called. Hello everyone. I've been reading up on some of Moonhorse's neck slash legbeard stories, and I decided to put in my own tale of both species. I'm excited. This all began in 7th grade, and I still want to vomit to this day. The cast is as followed. Myself, A, 13-year-old, now 15, well-defined six-pack due to football and loving P.E. just a little too much. Jonas, a.k.a. Bullbeard, a little on the husky side, loved theater, arts, anime, lolly, hentai, hopefully spelt that right. I have no idea if you did or not and hated me for my body and would spread rumors about me. Extremely bad liar. Chloe, aka Richbeard, spoiled from birth, demanded respect from everyone, basically wore $300 to $900 heels every day regardless of failing PE for it, hated my now ex-girlfriend and always tried to bribe me with money or other ways. Smelled like burning pig shit in a tire dump. Oh, okay. I originally met Bullbeard and P.E. at the beginning of the school year. We talked about what anime we liked and what teacher got on our nerves the most. It was like that until I started to realize how creepy he was when it came to my female friends. First it was nothing too far out of line, like stealing glances every so often. Or, you know, buying them lunch when their parents couldn't do it themselves. But it escalated very, very quickly. He started repeatedly saying, Be my soulmate, I'll make you shake from the sound of my voice. <sighs> to, I'm not like the other boys here. After two weeks and tons of complaints from my friends, I dropped him. But he didn't care. Bullbeard would still sit on the other end of the table, glaring swords into me. I didn't even let it bother me due to being surrounded by positive friends. God bless them. But all that changed when Bullbeard did something absolutely stupid. He groped one of my friends because I wanted to see if they were real. When I saw this, I threw an apple at him. <laughs> that's a that's a response I wasn't expecting. <laughs> and decked him in the face before both Bullbeard and I got dragged away from each other. As far as I know after that, Bullbeard got kicked out and I only got three days of detention. But this event was witnessed by Richbeard. After doing my pennies worth in detention, Richbeard comes up to me and the following conversation happened. Hey, okay, do you have a minute? Uh, yeah, what's up? My nose died that very minute and keeping my poker face was next to impossible. I saw how you defended your friend the other day. That was like so sweet and heroic of you. Uh, thanks. I uh, was just surprised he did that, you know? <laughs> I'm just happy he's gone. I know, right? So are you like single by any chance? Uh, yeah, but I'm kind of already talking to somebody. Sorry. I feel like I need to mention that she hasn't stopped staring at my pants since the beginning of this conversation. Ooh, classy. Oh. Well. She literally pauses for almost two and a half minutes. So can we leave, like, friends? If I gave you, like, $20 a day? She winked, or at least tried to. Uh, no, I'm not gonna be bought out. Have a good day. My favorite class is starting. I gotta go. I basically speed walk... Oh, speed walked away from her. A week later, I asked my girlfriend out, and she says yes. RB was not happy. The day after that, RB skipped her class to come to my lunch and proceeded to march towards me. What the hell? Um, what? You're going out with her? That was what you did? Her face is getting redder and redder by the second. Um, yeah, I told you I was already kind of talking to someone other than you. And you wanted to, like, hoe me out, so I said no. 
I'm still the richest person in this damn school, so that means everyone here should respect me, and that includes you. I just sat there trying to figure out what the hell she's losing her shit over. God knows I wasn't the most handsome person at this school, but jeez. Security decided to join in and make her go back to class. Uh, I might have to make another post when things get more disgusting. If Moonhorse is reading this, I am! You just made a freshman happy, and I'll make another part to this story if you enjoyed it. I did, and it's not every day that somebody says I made a freshman happy. I feel weird about that. <laughs> Thank you for writing this, though. Whew. It's... <laughs> Okay, I do have to, uh, I do have to point this out. Uh, one of the comments. Pseudo beer me. First off, I love your name. Secondly, sounds terrifying. A rare and dangerous combination. The rich yandere like le 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 beard. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I couldn't have come up with that. I am impressed. You guys just keep getting more and more awesome every day, I swear. I love you guys. This was an interesting story. I had no idea. Is is the leg beard and neck beard thing just becoming more and more as time goes on? Because I don't remember them that much when I was younger, but now it seems like there's a lot more stories about them. Anywho, if you enjoyed this story and have your own that you'd like to send me, you can do that. I'm not going to stop you. You absolutely can. r slash moonhorse stories. Send it there. I'll look at it. I will use my eyes to stare at the things that you created. That came out a lot creepier than I meant it to. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> if you'd like to keep the lights on in this place so we can keep doing this, you can do that by donating to my Patreon. Or by buying merchandise. Or, I mean, like, if you're super cool, you could just do both. I'm just saying. Anywho, I love you, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye now.